everybody? I just want to do a very quick pen tool tutorial. I get asked uh, often how to do clipping masks and how I do it. I personally use the pen tool uh, for all of my clipping masks. I realize there's benefits to uh, quick select tool and the select subject feature, but I personally like the pen tool. It gives a nice crisp line, cut line. Uh, it takes a little bit more time, but in the end, it just gives a good product. So the way I like to do it is I, I get a photo and I'll duplicate it. So I always have something to work with here and I'll do command plus on the Mac and I'll zoom in with my pen tool. And then you want to make sure that you have path selected. If you select shape here, you'll, you'll be drawing a shape with your pen tool. And that's not what you're trying to do if you're making a clipping mask. So go back to path, pencil selected. Uh, this photo is a little blown out, but we'll, we'll give it a good guess. So the key to the pen tool is you want as few points as possible. And so you'll start your first point and you'll want to go with this photo blown out like it is and just kind of guess where the shoelace is. And so I'll click my next point. You'd want to hold it down and you'll see that there's a line being drawn. And so imagine that that line is uh, the line that you've drawn. And so that line will be where your cut will go in the end. When you get to a corner like this and you hold down option, you'll see that your, your pen tool will change. And so when you hold that down and you click right here, that will add, that will get rid of your, uh, your handle. And so that gives you a sharp corner to work with and you're, you'll be able to do that. Uh, otherwise, you'll see that the, the line will try to continue along the path that it started and then go to your next one. So that's really, that's what you want sometimes, but when you're at a hard corner, you definitely don't want that. So hold down option, click, goes away, straight line into the corner, option click, get rid of it, start your curve, and then you'll pick a spot somewhere around like here, and then you can, you'll see again, your line will start to adjust around. And so I'll go ahead and get rid of that handle. It's going to give me too much of an arch. And so I want to go and drag this first handle kind of down the line that I want to go with. So you can see that I'm starting to draw around the shoe. And I did not option click there, but I will here because it's a corner. So I can start my line going back up this way. Click and hold, drag. I will not do option here because this is a nice gradual curve. So I'll click. And so now you have a nice line. I know my lines are magenta, but back in the corner, hold down option. You'll see, hold it down, get rid of that handle. Click and hold, drag until my line gets about where I want it to. Don't have to get rid of this handle. I can click and hold. And so now it's got a nice curve going around. Uh, straight line here. One point, one point. No need to add any points through here. Through here, No need to add any points through here because that's going to, if you don't get them straight, that'll give you a jagged line. Not what you want. So you're going to click here, drag straight until your line matches up. Let go. One click. Don't have any handles. One click. Don't have any handles. And so I'm going to drag this way. One click again. Not very straight, so I'm going to do it again. Here we go. Click and hold, come down to my corner. One click. My next point, one click. And so you can see kind of how I'm going through this. I'll get to my corner here. And so something like this, you could come here and just do like this if you really wanted to. Uh, but for the sake of having a nice, you know, exact cut. So I'm going to go here, here. Click and drag here. Option click. Uh, looks like I can get rid of the straight line here. Click and hold. Click and hold. Again. Again. Come around this way. And then I'm going to come to this point. This will be my next one. So I have a nice smooth curve going into this where the red fabric is starting to poke out. So I can come a little bit higher. Get here. Remember, as few points as possible. 
view as possible. Get to my corner, come out, option click again, come around this way. I'm going to do a straight line here. A little too far. There we go. I'll come around this way. Here I'm going to get to my corner. Make sure I get my line matched up around there. Option click. I'm come around the curve. Nice gradual curve. This way. I'm going to option click because that's going to be too far. You can option click on the end and kind of move this where you want. It is possible. So I can pull this back in and what that'll do is that'll shorten my curve trajectory so I can do something like that if I want. Straight line curve. Yeah, don't like that undo. Come this way, get it lined up. I'm pretty particular about how I do my cutouts. I like everything to be as exact as possible. What you'll find when you do this is if you're using this cutout for a print campaign or something that's not just on a social platform where you can really zoom in, you want a nice, super crisp line. I've, I've, I've had issues with quick select and it gives you like a fuzzy line or you have to go in and you have, you know, you start your initial quick selection, but then you have to go in and fix it and it just becomes pretty tedious and it's not really something that I enjoy doing. So if I can do it crisp the first time, I'll just take a few extra minutes and get it right. Option click right here. And I'll get it right the, the first time and just get it exact the way I want it. And the more you do this, the faster you'll get at it. So once you, you just kind of understand that you're, you're really just drawing a line ahead of the line. It, so what I mean is you click here, but you're drawing this line. You make the point here, but this is the line you want to do. And so like you'll click down here get that nice line going through i like to click hold click option here to get rid of it and then just try to match it up like that so now i have a nice line going through this way uh you can add points in if you need to come in and, and adjust things uh you can get rid of points if you need to don't like that point get rid of it can get a little sloppy that way but the way you'll do that is, is it'll just automatically do it. You'll just hover over a spot. And so say you want to add a point right here. There it is. And you can, again, hold down option. You can adjust that all you want. You can get rid of it. You know, so. And you can go up here to the direct select tool. And you can pick these, these points and move them around. But again, I like to just do it all, all in the beginning. So. P is your hotkey, go back to your pen tool. I just like to get it cut out this way uh, up front. It's just how I work. And there's other ways to do it. I'm not saying that they're wrong. This is just the way that I like to do it. Command Z, if you don't like it, go back a step. Again, I'm working on a Mac. So this is an interesting curve here. Let's see, you can get away with that. Yep. Option click, come around your corner and then just kind of keep moving through here. Matching up as best as you can. So I can't stress enough that if you get this right, your line, your cutout is gonna be smooth going through here. It's gonna be so smooth. Uh, you're not going to go back and have to do any refined mask or anything like that. I mean, it's just going to be right on point. This is the way I always, always cut out. Uh, again, this photo is blown out off Nike, but you can kind of guess that the shoe laces will be right around here. Normally, I don't work with photos just blown out, but that looks about right. Okay, so when you get to the end, you'll see this circle pop up on your pen tool. That means your path is closed. <laughs> Command minus zoom out. You can see what you've got. And you can see all the points that you've made and that's gonna be your mask. And so when you use the pen tool, you'll come up here and you'll hit mask and it'll create a vector mask for you. You see it right here, the gray. And I like to work with two layers for this reason, because when you go back in to get pieces like this, when you're in a vector mask, it'll automatically get rid of it for you. So that can be hard if you have a single layer selected. So if I go in here, I like to do auto add and auto delete. 
just because it's faster, you'll see that it'll start pulling that background out. Well, now I can't see what's going on right here. So this is why I duplicate my layer. I can see the original path and I'll pull it in and I'll click. So you can see the shape there. You can do this before you hit mask. I can make that line. Then I can go back and make this line and then I can hit mask and it will do it for me as well. And so when you zoom out, turn it off, click on the layer so you can see now you have nice, very clean cutout of this Jordan hair six and look nothing jagged about it. The only thing you see jagged here is that it is a low res image but your line is right on point all the way through you. Now you don't have to make any adjustments. You can go through and drop it in your design and just roll with it from here. You don't have to do any more tweaks. Hope that helps you guys. This is how I clip. This is how I work.